Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know, we always love to give you updates on what's happening in our community. Uh, Assumption is one of those as we uh, get in touch with Commander Lonnie Cavalier. Got a lot going on, Commander. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Keith. Yes, it's been a busy week. Yeah, I understand. All right, let's talk with some of the events that took place last Friday with Mr. Wesley. Yeah, last Friday we uh, we uh, received information on a Stephen James Morris. He's a white male, 115 Dollar Street of Morgan City. Uh, Mr. Morris has a very extensive criminal history and is a resident of St. Mary Parish. We did receive information that he was in Assumption Parish on Velma Court in Bar Lewis. Uh, he was wanted on a charge of uh, simple burglary. Uh, we converged on a horse trailer. We received information he was hiding in a horse trailer, and he was taken into custody last Friday, transferred to the custody of St. Mary Parish to face his charge of simple burglary, uh, and that concluded his arrest. Very nice. Without without event, huh? Without event. Without we love incident. those. We love those. All right. You got several others, I know. Yes. Uh, on Saturday afternoon, uh, our ICE division uh, conducted a traffic stop on Highway 90 and by Lewis. And as a result of that traffic stop, we took two people into custody, a Corey Pettis Johnson of Laura, Mississippi, and a Charles Alexander Pumilia of Washington, D.C. They were stopped on multiple traffic violations, and the deputy felt at the end of his interviews with these subjects that additional investigation was warranted. Got, we received consent to search the vehicle, and then during that search, we seized a quantity of methamphetamine. Uh, they were both booked into the parish jail, Mr. Johnson, on charges of possession of methamphetamine and multiple traffic violations, and Mr. Pamelia was charged with possession of methamphetamine, and they remain incarcerated with their bonds set at $45,000. Wow, 45000 So that was Friday, which led into yep. Saturday. And this was one, Saturday. That was Saturday. Right. That was the two uh, cases so far. So that one was Saturday with both of those individuals from out of town. Um, Correct. Who, whom we were able to arrest. And, and thank God that the officers are well-trained to know what to look for for the, yes. uh, the the options and issues with having drug paraphernalia. All right, and now we have a couple more. Uh, yes, on Sunday, uh, uh, Murphy, uh, 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 the same unit, the ICE unit, was on patrol in the Bell Rose area and encountered a, a vehicle with multiple traffic violations. Again, pursued that vehicle uh, onto Highway 308, at which time uh, a couple of miles further down the road, there was a uh, car crash, and uh, Mr. Uh, Murphy Lee Wesley, a male, 20 years of age, from Napoleonville, was taken into custody, and he was booked on charges of aggravated flight, aggravated obstruction of a highway of commerce. He was also booked on charges of a fugitive warrant from Louisiana State Police for insurance fraud, uh, a failure to appear charge in assumption uh, for unauthorized unauthorized entry of an inhabited dwelling. Uh, his bond is set at $65,000. Yeah, and it seems like in that case, when he was uh, tried to pull him over, uh, he fled. And when he did so, they, they exceeded 115 miles an hour. Is that correct? 115 miles an hour. And those things, are, uh, as, as you know, those, those cases are, are, are absolutely uh, concerning to us. Uh, but, it, you know, we we have to try to determine what are we chasing before and the conditions we're chasing in before we abandon the stop. And and, and fortunately, no one was injured in this stop other than, than uh, the vehicle when he crashed it. Right. And uh, and the bad guys in jail. 
Very good. Yeah, and what I mean is it just we don't, we don't just don't know when we're coming up on a routine traffic stop what may happen, and that's why uh, the sheriff's office and uh, law enforcement are so well trained in doing that. I'm glad that came to a conclusion without any any harm to anyone, uh, including yeah. the individual. All right. Absolutely. Very good. Now let's talk about this one. It's been uh, kind of listening for a while now. We've been working uh, uh, on. Yes, uh, Kelly Marie Blanchard was arrested on Sunday. Uh, this is another uh, uh, pursuit type situation. She was stopped by the ICE unit on on uh, multiple traffic violations. Uh, she is a a she has been arrested in our parish numerous times and convicted on numerous uh, drug related charges. Uh, a little different situation here. We we suspected that that she uh, possessed uh, some contraband. We applied for a search warrant uh, for her person. She did give us consent to search the vehicle. Uh, we applied for a search warrant for a person, subsequently brought her to uh, a local hospital, and they conducted, the hospital conducted a cavity search uh, of her uh, in accordance with the search warrant, and she uh, had uh, a substantial amount of crystal meth in body cavities. Uh, she was booked into the parish detention center on charge of possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute as well as other traffic-related incidents. Uh, she remains incarcerated. We have transferred her to Lafourche Parish to be housed at, at their facility for the time being. Wow. Well, you guys have been awfully busy, but I got to tell you, it, it seems that all of these cases, Commander, have come to some natural conclusion uh, without anyone in the public being harmed, and uh, we were able to kind of ascertain the warrants that were needed to get these people off of the streets. Yes, and, 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 you know, again, whenever you can do it without incident, it's, it's you know, it's great. Yeah. Good out. Always preferable yeah. to, be able to be able to do that. Commander, we thank you for you and your team and certainly for your ICE team and, and how busy they've been. I'm, I'm hoping things are not so busy for the holiday weekend, but uh, happy July 4th to y'all, and thank y'all for all the hard work you do. All right, and that's uh, Commander Lonnie Cavalier with the Assumption Parish Sheriff's Office. Uh, they are giving us those updates. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment. But don't go anywhere. A whole lot more right here on Bayou Time. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. Oh, I can When victory alone isn't enough, you chase something greater, no matter how difficult the path, on the dirt, in the sand, and beyond. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda 